to Martha's Vineyard. Which is like a little small island off the southern tip of the Cape Cod area. And it took us, what, like an hour and a half to get to Woods Hole. And in Woods Hole, you catch a ferry, which takes you to Martha's Vineyard. It's like a 45 minute ferry ride from Woods Hole to Martha's Vineyard. Downtown Vineyard Haven. Whenever you first get off the ferry, this is like the first town you come to. And uh, it's a quaint little town. It's like a little fishing village, but there's a lot of food and restaurants right here. Everything closes at seven, we've heard. So if you get here late, be ready for that. So when you first arrive in Vineyard Haven, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get on the bus and a bus pass to go around the whole island for the whole day is like eight bucks a person. And you basically take the number three bus to the number five bus and the number five bus gets you here to the Gayhead Lighthouse and the Gayhead Cliffs. It's about an hour ride, it's not too bad. The price is actually great considering you can go around the whole island, but you have the Gayhead Cliffs and you have the Gayhead Lighthouse right there. So the Gayhead Lighthouse was built in 1796 and it was actually built because this island was involved in the whaling industry. There's a lot of rocky cliffs and there's a lot of rocks that go out in the water and apparently there were a lot of shipwrecks. Behind me are the Gayhead Cliffs and these things like run right into the ocean. The water is like this turquoise color. There's tons of greenery around. These are really cool. This is the path, and way down there is the actual beach. All right, Radhika, no hunting. Holy cow, that's a long way to the beach. So this is the trail. I don't know if maybe there's a shorter way or not, but I see people walking way over there, and the beach is like a good three, 400 yards away. This is as far as we go on this little adventure. Instead of us walking the rest of the way to the beach, it is a long way away, and the bus comes every hour, so we really don't have a ton of time to waste walking. So instead, I'm going to send the drone up there and let you guys see what it looks like. Exploring the small area of Akaina, we headed to our next stop at Town. For that, we took bus number five to bus number six, which dropped us off right downtown of Edgartown. Edgartown has a bunch of shops, dining options, and a lot more to see. So we just got off the bus in Edgartown, and this is much different than the last place we were at. The last place was tiny. Yeah, so this is like truly like a coastal town, has shops, has a bunch of restaurant options. 
So we're excited to check it out. Finally, we got some food. We're in town of Edgar Town, and we're at Seafood Shanty. And if you haven't noticed, we really like lobsters. And we have pretty much eaten lobster roll for lunch and dinner everywhere. We just got done with lunch, and we finished our lunch at Seafood Shanty, where we got the lobster roll, obviously. Um, but, um, That's all we've eaten yeah. is lobster rolls. But you get to look out at the harbor, which is full of yachts, which we may buy one. Yeah. <laughs> the streets of Edgartown are actually starting to get very very quiet so we are going to head on the bus number 13 to Oak Bluff this place is supposed to be open till midnight it's supposed to have like a lot more restaurants Edgartown was a really cool place it had like a ton of shops some really good food ciao Edgartown <laughs> we finally made it to Oak Bluffs which is way more busy than anywhere else we've been on this island the west part of the island is actually fairly like laid back it's a lot more chill less people here there are people everywhere and apparently most things stay open here till like midnight or after so we're at flying horse which was america's oldest carousel that's right it's still here today that's pretty awesome and i believe all the horses were actually painted by hand which is pretty cool but anyway we're gonna go walk around some more and try to get some food <laughs> Methodists used to come to this island and they used to have their religious retreats in during the summertime so they used to sleep in tents and all but then eventually they wanted something more permanent so they built these houses so these initially 500 cottages the way they were built they're like the storybook style houses and this area was called the cottage city and then eventually they painted them all colorful and named them gingerbread houses If you come to Martha's Vineyard and you want to get a Vespa, this is where you can get it. So we're sitting here at Coupe de Ville. Have you ever seen a sunset like this? So that's it for Martha's Vineyard. I wish we had more time. We did not expect we were going to enjoy this island as much as we did. We were actually going to try to actually go to Nantucket. So we were going to try to do all of Martha's Vineyard, then go to Nantucket. We spent a full 12 hours on this island and we still did not see everything there is to see. You need to spend at least two to three days if you're going to come here and you want to see everything, right? It's a beautiful island. You have a lot of beaches that you can just go to and relax. And then there's like shopping area, good restaurants, and there is public transportation on the island. So it's, it's pretty good. So yeah, for I sure. liked it. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot of beaches we didn't go to. We didn't get to do the Jaws Bridge. We didn't get to do a lot of things that we want to do. So maybe we'll come back. But until next time. That's it. Ready to go home? No.